right, so for number 10, I chose this one because it, it's where we're starting to not have it be a pretty obvious what we want to eliminate. We have to make a decision about what we want to eliminate. And there's lots of possible ways to do this. I like to look for the easiest way. And I think here the easiest way is to turn that negative 3y into a negative 9y. I could also turn that x into a positive 4x. Either one of those is going to let me eliminate a term in that second, from this second one here. I'm choosing this one. I don't know. It just is the first thing I noticed is the thing to make, that makes sense to change. So I'm going to multiply this second equation by 3. That's going to get me 3x minus 9y equals um, negative 18. I'm going to bring the first equation down to put it underneath it so that I can put them together and eliminate this middle term is eliminated now because I changed this negative 3y to a negative 9y. 3x and negative 4x is going to give me a negative x. Negative 18 and positive 9 is going to give me negative 9. I divide by negative 1 and I get x is equal to negative 9. Oh, positive 9. Thank you. Let me go back to this initial equation. And what if instead of changing the y term to eliminate, I was looking at eliminating the x term instead? If I was going to do that as my first move, I could multiply the second equation by 4. And I would get 4x minus 12y equals negative 24. And then I'm going to bring the first equation down. This gets eliminated. I get negative 3y is equal to negative 15. y equals 5. Of course, either way, I'm going to go back and plug in whatever I got first to find the other. I just wanted to show you it doesn't matter which term you choose to eliminate first. You can decide what you're going to multiply one of the equations by to change it so it's something you can eliminate. 